Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 33 of the Battleship Brawl Season 6 Tournament. In this episode, we've got two different ships. We've got the Franz Ferdinand and the Richelieu going up against each other, and they've both got anthems. Oh, I didn't mean to let it go that long. Whoops. Because I still have to do the predictions! I just meant to, I meant to double tap it just to get the the thing started. <laughs> the the dueling anthems. So we've got Ferdinand and Richelieu. Two of the fakes. Wow. Anyway. You've got one minute to do your predictions. Oh, can I actually put points on the predictions? No, it won't let me do it. <laughs> That's a shame. I would totally uh, put some points into the pool for you guys if I could, but I can't. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the battle underway. Crams away. Can the Richelieu get out from underneath them? Mostly. Oh wow, do those manage those manage to hit propellers? Wow. Solid hits, but not on the guns. In the area of the guns, but not on the guns. Oh, had a bunch of superstructure overpens there. Oh, there are a lot of holes in the Ferdinand. Not very big holes, but there are a lot of them. We've got slope. We've got the wedge armor. That sound like a missile or a torpedo too. Does the Richelieu have torpedoes? I forget. They are only wood wedges. So they won't survive more than one hit. We've constantly got some uh, T-crossing going on here. direct hit on one of the turrets it looked like there. Ooh, half the t barrels get blown off on that one. Deck hit. Minor damage. HP values are quite even right now. But if it keeps getting hit through the front, it's going to lose that front gun. It can't, that armor can't hold forever. 
But I mean, it does have a decent amount, so maybe it can. Yeah, what Naviara said, BRM. Yeah, those are alloy wedges in there. Those will be a little bit tougher than the wood. Oh, and there goes one of the Richelieu's turrets. Blasted by a cram cannon. Massive hole blown in the superstructure there. Going straight through that hole it already blasted in there. Did someone say over ten? Right. I think the, the flaming stuff just happens based on hit points, Brisby. <laughs> Cat's going crazy. Still zooming around. Hey, Panther. What you doing, buddy? Huh? You zooming? Yeah. Yeah, it is quite a bit of listening. But the Richelieu doesn't really have enough damage to capitalize on it. Like... Because it's down to two out of eight barrels. Dangerous hit. Ooh, another dangerous hit. Richelieu cannot afford to lose those two barrels. It'll be done. It doesn't have any other weapons. If the plane survives, the Richelieu wins, right? Yeah, not quite how that works. You can call it a moral victory, I guess, if you want. Oh, and I've got hiccups. Oh yeah, Richelieu might not have enough mass to make it to the end. But it's probably got it's probably got rounds in the magazine, so it'll be alright. Oh yeah, uh-oh. That's no bueno.
Uh oh. Oh, gun's still active. Well, hope the Richelieu's got some batteries. Oh, there it goes. The gun is gone. The gun is gone. Richelieu is defeated. No, it doesn't. At least it doesn't anymore. If you look at the firepower, it has 0.52 in missiles, which is interceptors. So, oh, I can't see the Ferdinand score because I hit the escape key. <laughs> 78.5 to 0 in round 1. They <laughs> go, interceptors go. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Be right back just a moment. And there was nobody there. I said hello three times and then they hung up. So let's go ahead and get round two underway. I kind of have to answer them because I've been applying for jobs and everything, so you know. It's a little important. Dude makes a hard turn. Oof. Not enough to get out from underneath all those grams though. I wonder if her, I wonder if having those extra two props will give her some speed that'll make some make a difference in this match. Wow, that's a lot of confetti. Those are cram parts. There goes one of the turrets. Oh, that's a sure what these interceptors are doing. The Ferdinand doesn't have anything to intercept. Are those actually tiny little torpedoes? They only have 0.52 at firepower. They don't have a realistic chance of doing any real damage to the enemy. best. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, that would make it easier if I just said, like, you have to have X amount of firepower available or you lose. That would make the participation thing a lot easier to check, because then I could just go boop. Okay, you have 114 firepower, you're still in the fight, let's go. That's something to keep in the mind for the future. Oh, those little skirts on the Richelieu took some damage. I'm not sure what the point of those are, but... They absorbed a shell hit, so that's something. You see, they didn't even take out a single block. I'm not counting those as weapons. I do believe the rule says that they have to have a realistic chance of doing damage to the enemy. Richelieu's guns hurt your ears. You can't have 666 millimeter guns, Brisby. You're ringing for no pro for no point. That is that's literally impossible. <laughs> well, yes, you can do anything with mods. I still agree with Faram and think they should just keep every keep all the damage scaling the same, but then just make crams be from 500 to 1,000 instead of 1,000 to 2,000. Basically, just change change it aesthetically. just make more sense that way. They should also add scaling speed to crams so that the smaller the cram, the faster it goes. I don't know, Brisby. It doesn't need APS properties. I just feel like it would be interesting to have crams that can actually reliably hit because they have good shell speed, but do a lot less damage. They'd basically, at that point, be... Yeah, I guess they'd, they'd be uh, 
slightly higher gauge APS without the ability to do like heat and hesh and whatnot. And I'm not talking like give, uh, you know, minimum gauge cram 600 meters per second shell speed. I'm talking like three or 400 max. And then just have that scale linearly down to 200 meters per second at, at max gauge. I think that would be a really good balance change and I don't know why the devs just refuse to do it. Has it lost real power? No, it's it's firing rails still. <laughs> it's bonk. <laughs> Overpen. This match is a lot closer than the first one, but it all it only takes one good strike. To knock out this gun. And then it's all over. Wow, that is loud. I'm gonna try and stay away from that, because geez. Ferdinand is uh, getting a little low in the water there and continuing to drop. She's had so much of her bow shredded, she's starting to sink face first. Six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty, and we have ourselves a match, folks. Richelieu wins that round sixty one point six to zero. Did it? Oh, you're right. That's a draw, folks. Very last possible shot blew up the remaining gun.
<laughs> the interceptor. Those don't count. <laughs> the rule is they have to have a reasonable chance of dealing damage to the enemy. Those don't. Or at least have a torpedo that can actually knock off a block when it hits. Anyway. So round two is a draw. We're going into round three. What is dead may never die. <laughs> Hello, game. There we go. No, stop making me fall constantly. Stop it. The cool thing is with both of them playing the anthem, anthem at once, it's gonna jumble things up and, you know, guarantee that the automatic copyright stuff doesn't pick it up. Because I actually had, <clears throat> I actually had one of my videos become ineligible for monetization because of that one ship that uh, every time it fired, it's kind of just like fire your gun. <laughs> yeah, it picked up on that, and because that because that appear, appears in a few seconds of every video, now all of the revenue goes to that goes to that to the owner of that music. That makes no sense to me, but. It's like, I used you in 30% of the video, therefore you get 100% of the revenue. What? That doesn't make sense. Those guns are allowed. But that's copyright law for you. Those shells are falling short. Like, really short. Oh, no, those ones hit. And we've lost the Richelieu gun again. Ah, God. the heck? One shell hit well and then the other three didn't. Is she in? Did her batteries take a hit maybe? Oh, we should lose out of guns again. <laughs> yep, just the .52 of missile interceptors, which we're probably getting launched because of crams in the water. Or something, I don't know. Whatever the case. It has a plane, right? 94.72 zilch. <laughs> so the Ferdinand takes the win. The cow sounds. <laughs> there we go. 
the points have been awarded. Uh, today's stream took twice as long as yesterday's. Like, almost, almost completely literally. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow we're going to have the Manticore by Eternal Doom versus the Obdurateness by Branjamin. And then President Joe Wyden. Or wait, no, today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow we have Goose Goose Duck. Monday we'll have those fights. Monday it'll be Manticore versus Obdurateness and President Joe Wyden versus It Ride. Suck, Matt. <laughs> Who's Matt? But yeah, anyway. Yeah, it is Thursday already. This week went by really fast. So yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.